welcome to the Australian Citizenship Ceremony hosted by All Access Multicultural Incorporation. As I say, this is the 11th time they have hosted this ceremony. My name is Louis Lee. If you don't know my name, I'm the MC for today. This is the Citizenship Ceremony to celebrate Citizenship Week. I would like to acknowledge the traditions of the Aboriginal and Tor Torres Strait Islander people on whose land we are gathered here today. Mr. Graham Parrott, MP, the presiding officer for this citizenship ceremony, authorised by the Minister under the Australian Citizenship Act 2007. Melody Chen, Life Honorary President, World Arts and Multiculture Incorporated, and the host. Maggie Liu, President, World Arts and Multiculture Incorporated, and the co-host. The Honourable Mark Bailey, MP, State Member for Yerongapilly, Minister for Main Roads, Safety and Ports, Minister for Energy and Water Supply. Thank you. Mr Peter Russo, MP, State Member for Sunnybank. <laughs> Mr Duncan Pegg, MP, State Member for Stretton. Councillor Kim Marks, Councillor for Carrawatha Ward. <laughs> Harry Classen, Vice President, Sunnybank RSL, Subbranch. Michelle Alsop, <laughs> Director of Sales and Marketing, Business Relations, Ships, Comfort Inn and Suites, Robertson Gardens. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, can I call upon the presiding officer, Mr. Graham Parrott, also the federal member for Moulton, to deliver Minister from Immigration and Border Protection, the Honourable Peter Darton, MP. You have uh, three levels of government here today, local government, state government and federal government, all keen to be involved in recognising your journey in becoming Australian citizens. I know some of the journeys that have involved you coming here have involved heartache. I always have respect and admire anyone that has the courage to leave the land of their birth and, and move to another country. So we are proud and pleased to be here with you. Obviously, apart from the Indigenous Australians that I acknowledged at the beginning, uh, Australia is a land of migration. About one in four Australians have come from overseas, have, uh, were born overseas, and in this part of Brisbane, uh, the, the area I represent, it's about one in three. A very multicultural community. Many came after World War II when there were significant populations around the world displaced after the war. Some came for hope and opportunity, some came because their, their countries had changed. Now, sadly, we see again uh, a displacement of people around the world. 61 million people displaced due to war and, and horror and terror. Uh, last night I was uh, at a, a rally in Roma Street uh, where uh, Australians came together to recognise that displacement and to say that Australia welcomes those that are experiencing hardship. We are a lucky country and a country that only survives if we tolerate and if we toler are tolerant and have compassion for those experiencing hardship. I've been in this room with the former Prime Minister Julia Gillard, uh, not, uh, it was only a few years ago. She came to Australia on a boat as a migrant. The Prime Minister Tony Abbott came to Australia on a boat as a migrant. So let that be a warning to you. You could end up as a Prime Minister. <laughs> Obviously, we, we are a land of opportunity. So I look forward to you adding your story to that Australian story, and may it be one of respect. And I don't care what anybody says. I, I don't think that any Australian has a right to be a bigot. We should be tolerant and compassionate and respectful. And always, I think, as my mum said, have good manners. My job here is to read the message from the Honourable Peter Dutton, MP, the Minister for Immigration and Border Protection. Australia stands proud in today's world, recognised for defending the values, rights and obligations which will stand us in good stead for as long as we embrace them. The history and culture of Australia has been forged over thousands of years, first through Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander people, and more recently, with people from the four corners of the earth. Australians are proud of having survived and thrived as a nation 
following the cruelty of world wars, depression, drought and flood. As a result of this rich history, today we stand with other strong democracies to help defend and protect our hard-fought freedoms. People of all backgrounds and religions strengthen our country and only together, united, will our future be as strong as our present and past. Thank you for taking this important step today. Australian citizenship confers on you great benefits, but equally rights and obligations. Congratulations and best wishes, Peter Dutton, Minister for Immigration and Border Protection. Thank you. Before I ask the host to speak, can I also formally acknowledge Ms. Elsa Swift, President of 4EB, or also the Chinese Ethnic Broadcasting Association of Queensland. Then I call upon Ms. Melody Cheng, the host, the live honorary president of World Arts and Multiculture, to speak. Melody Cheng, please. Thank you, Louis. Today, we have 92 new candidates from 26 different countries becoming Australian citizens. We are very honored to host the citizenship ceremony under the guidance of MC Louis Lee, OAM, the community leader and also life honorary advisor for art and multicultural incorporation. Australia is a wonderful country rich in cultural harmony and diversity. Your Australian citizenship is about making a contribution. I challenge this great honor of being able to be part of assisting with this important step uh, in a new life. Once again, congratulations to the candidates who will be the new Australian citizens. Thank you very much. Uh, I'd like to uh, give a special welcome to Lewis and his uh, team who always put on a wonderful ceremony. Thank you. It's always a privilege to be involved. Can I acknowledge my uh, colleagues, Graham Parrott, uh, Federal Member for Morton, Melody Chen, Maggie Liu, uh, my state colleagues, Peter Russo, Duncan Pegg, Councillor Kim Marks, Harry Classen from the RSL, uh, Michelle Alsop, and also Elsa Shui. Uh, can I say it's a great honour and, uh, pr uh, and a privilege to be with you here today to welcome you to Australia. Uh, I uh, would like to convey the sincere good wishes from the Premier, Anastasia Palaszczuk, uh, herself. Again, she's the Premier of Queensland. Uh, her family migrated here from Poland. Uh, so as you can see, there's so much opportunity here in Australia. And we welcome the different cultures, the different points of view, the different uh, experiences from people all around the world. And today we're welcoming you from 26 different countries around the world. We are the better country, we are a richer country for your contribution. Now, does that mean that we're a perfect country? Not at all. We've still got a lot to learn and we've still got a lot to do and, and grow as a country. Uh, but there is opportunity. And there are, and fundamentally, this country is an immigrant country, as Graham said. We are the better off for the, the contribution of everybody, uh, the respect that we have for our other people. But what we do say as a culture is, we want your contribution. We respect people's right, no matter who you are, to fully contribute to our society, whether that's with your points of view, whether that's uh, your skills and your job, uh, in all those kinds of ways. What we say is a real uh, community is one that lets you maximise your life opportunities and we're all the better off because of it. So thank you very much uh, for the invitation to be here. It's a privilege to uh, welcome you to our nation, our immigrant nation, and uh, I wish you all the best for uh, your whole time here and I hope it's as rich and as rewarding as you hope it to be. Thank you. It's always exciting to be at citizenship ceremonies because today is the occasion where we welcome new aspiring Australians to contribute to our wonderful nation. With 92 candidates from 26 different countries, our community without doubt will be enriched by the vibrant traditional culture and values you bring along with you today. You now have the right and responsibility to cast a vote in your local, state and federal elections. You are entitled to the freedom in speaking up and having a say on matters that are important to you 
and your family. Most importantly, you are free to pursue your aspirations and to live in peace while still observing your beliefs and celebrating your traditions. Being Australian means you are entitled to the same rights and opportunities to the person sitting next to you. You are also responsible to treat everybody with the dignity and respect we all deserve. My father was an immigrant and he championed his Italian heritage every living day of his life. And that is why I treasure this diverse and multicultural society we live in. I'm proud of my Italian heritage and proud to be part of this community that has people from all over, all over the world. I'm also proud to know people who have, by their kindness and generosity, given others the chance they need to grow and thrive in this nation, because that is the Queensland way. I would like to invite you as new Australian citizens to embrace, to nurture, to contribute, and to defend our democratic ideals. Welcome one and all. May your life in Australia, in Queensland, and in Brisbane, be everything you imagine it to be. Uh, Organising an event like this takes a, takes a lot of uh, work and effort, so congratulations to all WAMSIA members on your efforts and all the contributions you make to our community. It was only, in fact, last weekend that uh, we celebrated the anniversary of, of WAMSI, so congratulations to Maggie, to Dana, to Melody, and all, all members of WAMSI, and also to uh, Robertson Gardens. Thanks for uh, hosting today's event and, and allowing us to use this fantastic venue. Uh, my, my mother actually became an Australian citizen just a few years ago. So she, she went uh, to a citizenship ceremony like uh, our 92 candidates uh, here today attended. And when, when I think back to when my mother became an Australian citizen not long ago, probably the, the biggest thing that people said to her, probably one, one word people said to her more than any other was congratulations. Congratulations on becoming an Australian citizen. It's probably a, a word you're going to hear a, a lot today. But um, I, I wanted to say congratulations as well. But, but the other thing I wanted to say was thank you. Uh, th the seat that I represent of Stretton, uh, ha half the people in the seat I represent were born overseas. Uh, half the people in the seat I represent uh, speak a language other than English at, at home. So I wanted to say thank you for adding to the cultural diversity of our area. Th thank you for choosing to become an Australian citizen. Thank you for choosing to live in the best state in Australia, in Queensland. I hope, hope you have a great day. I'm sure you'll remember this day for the rest of your lives. Thank you very much and congratulations. You will have noticed that um, the elected representatives here today have all acknowledged the traditional owners of the land. That's something that we do at every single event and we're more than happy and proud to be able to do that. Um, so when you go to any official function, you will notice that and that's why that we're happy to do that. And, and I'm guessing at some point in the time, some of your cultural um, customs that you've brought with you will possibly enter the Australian um, culture as well. Because as Duncan said, 49% of the people that we represent were born overseas. Myself, I was born overseas. I was um, born in New Zealand. So um, Graham mentioned that, you know, people born overseas can be prime ministers or Kiwis can be councillors as well. So there you go. So um, yes, congratulations for deciding to take this big step. All of us here have done that at one time or another and it is a momentous step. And, um, but we're more than happy to welcome you to part of our family and we thank you for taking that and deciding to do that and be part of our family here today. Thank you. This is the part of the ceremony that is the official part that m m where you need to listen so that we comply with the, the federal legislation because I read the preamble to the Australian Citizenship Act 2007. And I begin, Australian citizenship represents full and formal membership of the community of the Commonwealth of Australia. And Australian citizenship is a common bond involving reciprocal rights and obligations, uniting all Australians while respecting their diversity. Persons on whom Australian citizenship is conferred enjoy these rights and undertake to accept these obligations by pledging loyalty to Australia and its people, by sharing their democratic beliefs, by respecting their rights and, rights and liberties, and by upholding and obeying the laws of Australia. 
As such, citizenship is both of value to the individual and to the nation. Now it is time for you to make your pledge of commitment. This will be conducted in two parts as candidates have the choice to make pledge number one or pledge number two. So please repeat after me. From this time forward under God, I pledge my loyalty to Australia and its people. Whose rights and liberties I respect and whose laws I will uphold and obey. Please repeat after me. From this time forward, I pledge my loyalty to Australia and its people, whose democratic beliefs I share, whose rights and liberties I respect. and whose laws I will uphold and obey. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome our new Australians. Well done, well done. Each candidate who has made the pledge is called forward individually to receive their Australian citizenship certificate from Mr. Graham Parrott, MP. I now ask the official party, who are already standing up there, next to, to stand beside Mr. Perrin. After you have received your certificate on my left, you'll then uh, be required to uh, proceed to the right to receive gifts from Ms. Melody Chen. Candidates' names will now be called up. Uh, when your name is called, uh, please move to the front of the stage. Ladies and gentlemen, now I call upon Ms. Maggie Liu, the President of Warwick's Multiculture, to talk about the Australian Citizenship Certificate. Ms. Maggie Liu, please. Can all new citizens please check your certificate carefully? Your Officer Australia Citizenship Certificate is an important legal document and is your evidence of Australian citizenship. Please ensure that your name and date of birth are correct and today's date. Your certificate should be stored flat in a cool, dry location. Please do not damage your certificate. You also do not recommend flying your certificate as you will need to quote the ACC number listed on the back of your certificate to apply for an Australian passport. Thank you. I now would like to conduct an affirmation ceremony, which is a short ceremony where all Australians can publicly celebrate being an Australian. The words of the affirmation are based on the Australian citizens' breach met by candidates earlier. By participating in an affirmation ceremony, you are expressing your support for the value and principles that underpin Australian citizenship. Everyone is welcomed to join us in this affirmation ceremony. I affirm my loyalty to Australia and its people. Whose democratic beliefs I share 
whose rights and liberties I respect, and whose law I uphold and obey. Thank you. Please be seated. Along with your certificate of Australian citizenship, you will receive a partially completed electoral um, enrollment form. Please check the details and correct them if necessary. Add in your occupation and postal address, your Australian driver license number and state and sign. Once the form has been completed, Kylie, Match and Annie Wellington from Australian Electoral Commission shall collect them from, uh, from you. Please also sign and hand in the enrollment form so that your enrollment records can be updated for your new citizenship status. Please be advised that new citizens may enroll to vote now by completing the electoral enrollment form given to you. five things I'm telling you are not official information. So these are my five tips for being a good Australian. Number one, share a meal with your neighbours. Let them see some of your cuisine, experience some of their cuisine, do it in a park, do it in your home, but that is a great way to break down the, bound the things that separate us. So share a meal with your neighbours. Number two, Find some bush. Could be just up in Tui Forest with some gum leaves, some dirt, and get the gum leaves under your fingernails, get the dirt in your hands so you smell Australia. Even if, if you can, uh, find a tree to plant maybe in the next week or so to remember today, so that you can always have a tree that you remember you planted on, on the week that you became an Australian citizen. Number three, you need to find a poem that speaks to you about Australia. It could be written by someone that arrived in the last year or someone who arrived 200 years ago. So, you know, the poets like Judith Wright or Benjo Patterson or Henry Lawson, whoever. But find a bit of poetry that, or literature that speaks to you about Australia. Number four, learn an Aboriginal word or two from the Indigenous owners of the area you live in. Just one or two indigenous words. I come from a town in Western Queensland called St George, and there's still words that I use, They're like garigal for cold. Uh, so find some words that you know, so you can tell your family and friends when you're talking to them, the word of the, the culture that is 60,000 years old in your new country. Number five. Now it's a big day for sport here in um, Queensland. And if you follow rugby league, you can be assured that after today, a Queensland side will win the game today because we've got North Queensland Cowboys playing the Brisbane Broncos. So sport is a big part of Australian culture. Sport. Now, so you need to find an Australian sporting team that you can support. So I know if you come from New Zealand and you are watching the rugby, you might want to follow the All Blacks rather than the Wallabies. I understand that. Or if you, you know, if you come from India, you might want to follow India in the cricket rather than Australia, especially the way they played in in um, in England. So I understand that that you will always maybe follow your home country's sporting team, but you need to find a code where you can make Australia your number one team, the netball or the swimming or whatever it is. Find an Australian team to support the Matildas in the soccer, whatever. 
Okay, so that's what you need to do. Find an Australian team you can make your number one team. And I understand that we'll be number two sometimes. But if we are ever number three, you can be deported. <laughs> All right, so remember that. They are, they are my five tips for being a happy Australian. Well done, congratulations. <laughs>